The Sawmill Saloon, located at 14th and North Sherman, is still closed today after an isolated disturbance led to a shooting here early Sunday morning. The shooting left two dead and three others injured. Among the deceased was James Radcliffe, a security guard at the saloon. And most recently, he began working at a beauty supply shop with childhood friend Nicole Davis. He had a lot of friends, um, anybody who met him, they, they just took to him because of his, uh, his joyful, joyful soul. Nicole remembers Radcliffe as a hard worker who loved his family. This is just a picture of him uh, just doing stuff in the store. Yeah. And I believe if the altercation did occur, he just his kind heart, you know, he just wanted to help out or something like that. Alfonso Fowler, another childhood friend of Radcliffe, says he knew something terrible would happen there. It's a danger zone for anybody that goes there. How can you go and have fun and you got to carry a gun just to have fun? You can't return home in your safety. Locals say although they would hate to see the owner lose their business, the bar isn't ideal for the area. If I was a neighbor and I had a club like that next to me, I wouldn't want it next to my house. The bar should be shut down. As for Nicole, she plans to keep Radcliffe's memory alive through her business. I'm also going to have a, um, a picture of him blew up and I'm going to hang it on my wall and put in, in memory of James Radcliffe. Police are still unsure what exactly started this incident on Sunday, but in the meantime, people will continue to stop by this memorial behind me to pay their respects to their loved ones. I'm Alexandra Rudig, 24-Hour News 8.